Hello guys welcome to our channel once again. Today we will learn how to create HTML table for email from CSV. First video we have seen how we can trigger an email from the blob upload and we also saw that how we can attach a blob with as an email attachment. If you have not watched our earlier video please check that out. Now we are going to see how you can send that same content as email, because most of the time we work with CSV files, and there is no inbuilt converter from CSV to HTML table. What we're going to do is we are going to use some hack to convert this, we tried many options but nothing worked. This is how our table should look like finally, so we have already built table, so that we can create a template kind of thing. Now we'll use some compose activities from the logic apps. But here the biggest problem is when you try to replace the tags from the CSV file. It is no easy way to replace the new line feeds and carriage returns. We have tried multiple things, but none of them worked. So here is a hack. There is a one function called URI component, there if you give this input, we can replace that with the semicolon, it finds percent zero a in that. Then you can convert that back to string format using URI component string function. So what it will do is it will convert our line feeds into semicolons, and then after that we know what to do. We can use our regular replace methods and concate methods to create the HTML files. So I have used three or four compose activities. I'm going to explain this. See I have written all the four of them. The first one is to replace carriage return. The most important one and then they replace activity to replace my. So that we can add a new row whenever we have the semicolon and we can add it columns where we have commas. So using three activities you can convert your CSV into. An HTML table. You can also apply the style. that you can achieve using concat functions. This is how our final HTML table should look like. Here you can see the input and output of each actions for debugging purpose. Let me show the email. Here you would see one extra box which has come up as we did not remove our last tags, we can easily remove that using substring methods.